Live firing in the Brecon Beacons is a far cry from the glamorous life as a professional footballer, but after six years with Manchester City at the age of 33, Lee Crook says he has no regrets about following his younger brother into the forces, although he chose the army. I chose the RF regiment just because they're a good force to be with and uh, they do a good job out on the ground and uh, obviously they do uh, a good job to help the, uh, the lads in the air. One of the footballing highlights for Crooks was playing in the 1999 League Two playoff final for City against Gillingham, which they won on penalties and set the club on the way back after years of decline. But after spells at Barnsley, Bradford City and Rochdale and in non-league football, he took the decision to join the RAF regiment. He graduated a few weeks ago and this training is part of his build-up to deploying with one squadron early next year. He says there are many comparisons between the two jobs. The roles are very similar in a lot of ways. Uh, being a professional footballer takes a lot of dedication, a lot of sacrifices and also with the lads that you work with you've got to be 110% uh, committed uh, on the pitch and equally uh, as a gunner you've got to be uh, with your friends through thick and thin, be dedicated and be prepared to help each other out when things get tough. Throughout his training, the former stars impressed his instructors. He's been progressing uh, well through the course, and he's been the, the senior member of the course, i.e. age-wise, being 32. Some of the lads are nearly half his age. With this part of his training almost over, Lee will be heading over to Suffolk to join his unit. But this Sunday, he's heading for Malta, putting on another light blue shirt, this time in the colours of the RAF, as they prepare for the inter-services season. Old habits die hard.